The reason I'm creating new welcome to my channel videos, or one, but I'm doing test videos. Last night, my mom was sleeping, so I couldn't talk loud. Those were just test ones. Um, it's because I just got my hair done. Speaking of which, this salon now, this high-end salon, has a me for life, a customer for life, even if I don't end up seeing that same other person, because, you know, people move on, they quit, they leave, who knows? Or maybe it'll be awkward between us, because I had the nerve to say, like, why didn't you give me what you gave me eight and a half months ago that I reveled in, that I was ecstatic over, you know? <clears throat> see if she even reads my six page louder. Who knows? I won't see her for months anyway when I get my bang trim, so by then, you know, we're not going to spend the time talking about my letter. I'll probably just say, if you read, did you read it? And she would say, yeah, even if she didn't. So the manager's going to talk to her about how to do my care correctly, which is not the side thing. It's that you don't have the bangs be like look like they're like separate from the side it has to blend in all nicely and these bangs have to touch my eyebrows not be hanging down in my eyes okay don't know what's going on with her nonetheless doesn't matter obviously my mom's at home I could talk loud um she's not gonna be gone that long so <clears throat> as I said in the other video I walked a lot of miles yesterday and I haven't been keeping up with this dry brushing you know that's what happened last time and I had a dry brush and I don't know what happened to it certainly wasn't used enough for it to no longer be any good um, I haven't danced for you in a while I would like to do that like my welcome to my channel videos says my new one did all of them say it? That's my favorite kind of video that I create. I know it's not your favorite, but it's mine. Okay, my favorite kind of videos are that my kind of video. Favorite videos of mine that I create are my dancing videos. Okay. I poured baking soda down the drain in the sink going by what it says online to do I told my mom I'm going to do everything for that sink humanly possible including buying industrial strength stuff like Drano or something before we pay hundreds to a plumber and these cheap things that I bought off of Amazon you know, a couple years ago whenever I bought them um, they're, they're, they don't fit the couch perfectly. They're, they're cheap things, you know. We got them for both. But it was hanging down there. And my mom, but it's not hanging to the floor. She's just not paying attention. She sits over here. She's like, I almost tripped over that while I was gone yesterday. I'm like, I'm sorry, Mom, but that's the same reason I cannot protect you all the time. I'm not here with you all the time. That's the same reason I tell you, and every time I see it, I get upset when you stick your purse down there. And if you don't pay attention, I've watched you not pay attention to your purse down your feet, and then you get up and trip over the strap. You get your foot caught in it. So well, you can only protect the elderly so much. Like, seriously. I told you about my mom's, I just remember the other thing. My mom's friend, who's her age, I mean, they knew each other when I was a baby. Okay, around then. She had that dog she trusted nearly kill her, nearly rip her apart. Had to recuperate for months over that. But she also fell one time while walking with her child, with her kid, her adult kid. Oh, she's my mom's age. She doesn't have shoes. Adult kid. And had to recuperate for months from that. And then I think she recently had something happen to her. I have to ask my mom. But did someone so just recently have something else happen to her? Cause my mom was trying to get a ride to a dentist, and she's like, because she, yeah, something new happened to her. So she gets hurt a lot. And you get hurt more when you're older. So I could have come home to my mom injured and, and, and not even just, who knows? I've seen it almost happen with her purse, not with this thing. So we nip it in the bud now, even though it looks doesn't look as good. We shove this un up here. But the thing about my mom is, she saw that almost happen to her. 
And she didn't instantly shove it up here. She waits till I come home hours later to tell me, you know, I, I nearly tripped over that thing. Yeah. Shove it up in there then. You nearly tripped over it, but you have to pay attention in this life. Everything is not going to be perfect, Mom. She decided it was a good idea to to wipe her ass with a face cloth, which is okay. She says, well, you said don't use toilet paper. No, I said don't throw the toilet paper. If you go a lot, don't throw the toilet paper on top of it. That's how you clogged it before you went into the hospital for six weeks. That's how you clogged it again when you came home recently, and it was hell for me. We don't want to pay hundreds to a plumber, Mom. Okay, yeah, you can wash your ass with a face cloth. That's great. Try to get clean any way you can. I, w I bought these tux medicated things. You know, it's very important to keep your behind clean. Okay. A lot of people don't try to keep their behind clean. In my wild days, I found out that the hard, you know, I found, I learned that the hard way, so. It's just, you know, a lifetime ago. An alter ego, Alicia. Decades ago. Okay. Anyway, I tried to be cognizant of the, 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 the keeping the behind clean, and I, I told my mom you could fold toilet, <clears throat> I bought special Viva toilet, it says online, Viva toilet paper. It's supposed to stay better when you wet it. <clears throat> I also bought Tux, Tux things, Tux witch hazel medicated pad things or whatever. Um, so there's different things that, that you can do. What you don't do is wipe your ass with a face cloth and then wash the face cloth in our, sick, our bathroom sink. I made her. <laughs> I'm still trying to get that clock to go down. I refuse to call a plumber unless I've exhausted all options. I refuse to pay hundreds to a plumber unless I've tried my absolute best. It's okay to wipe yourself <laughs> with a face cloth. And I'm sure she, I, I hope she used toilet paper too, but who knows. It's okay to wipe yourself with a face cloth, but you can't wash it in her sink. You have to give it to me. I didn't want you to know or I didn't want you to see it. Okay, but you can't wash it in our bathroom sink. If you get a little cut on your hands, you can wash it in the sink. Not if you're, you're a face cloth full of caca. <laughs> anyway. I made her <laughs> the water scoop up the, 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 the shitty water and dump it up. I wasn't going to do that. Ridiculous. You can't get mad. She doesn't know any better. You know? It's just frustrating because I, as I've told you guys for years, I cannot predict what she's going to do next. Would have I ever predicted she was going to wipe her ass with a face cloth and then wipe, wash the face cloth in our bathroom sink? Would I have ever predicted that in a million years? No. I try to be proactive. I try to think what she might do, and I say to her, make sure you don't do th I'm very smart. I'm like, make sure, I've learned the hard way. Make sure you don't do this. Make sure you don't do that. Okay? Like, if I have to leave, I'll have her look in on Omar. I, I gave her permission if he's ever like upside down or something crying that she can can write him because the risk of, of that is worse. If I, you know, I'm mostly here. And he mostly doesn't do that. hazards of him, but again, we go back to the same thing, I, I don't, I'm not prepared, unless it's necessary to use, have him use the knife. I'm sure if more and more things started happening with him, that, that would be a different story, even if they're small things, if they were frequent or whatever, you know, but at this time, that's not the case, and I told you his poop was a perfect, and he's all right.
Anyhow. Oh, one more thing. Yeah, yeah, because they did exactly what I said to you. If, if they were any place worth their salt, won't just try to fix the problem. They'll actually give me a whole brand new haircut because I was robbed of that feeling, even though I can't duplicate it of knowing how good my hair can look, you know. I was robbed of that. She did, it was a manager, and she does hair too, and she did the whole thing. And she was kind, and they have a, a customer for life now. They have a customer for life, this place. Because they cared and they made it right and they 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 didn't blow me off and you can tell when someone genuinely cares and when someone's faking it. She went above and beyond. I just wanted her to fix. You know, it needed tweaking. It wasn't that the haircut was horrible, you know, but it needed tweaking. And and to and I showed her the picture that I took from the video when I was ecstatic when I got my haircut those eight and a half months ago. In that video, you could see how ecstatic I am if you've watched it. It's linked below. The ones where I talk about my hair, it'll be linked below this one where, you know, I have a haircut again for the first time in 14 months. Yay! Alicia tells you about her fun day. And I'm ecstatic. And you can see I'm ecstatic. I'm faking it. Okay. So I, I could take a picture on my screen, on my computer screen of that. And that's what I showed this person. And, and she does hair and she looked at it. And then at the very end when she was doing my hair again and she washed it and everything... She says, can I see it again? And I showed her again. And I also showed her the picture I took of when this person, this stylist, who didn't even, didn't duplicate the results that had me ecstatic eight and a half months ago. I don't know what was going on with her. She got my six-page handwritten letter. Six pages, one-sided. Not like Rachel's and that, that, that friend's where she gave us the 18 pages both sides. Okay, Six pages, just one side. I had my mom read them to make sure they were legible. And have time to type them up, and I don't have a printer anyway, so. And that's, that's that. The way they reacted as well, I hoped, as I told you in that previous video, I hoped that they would do that. I hoped that they would do the hair all over again. Set up an appointment and do the hair all over again, but she had time and was able to do me that right then. Not that stylish. She was busy doing something else, so I lucked out in that area. Missing my buses, having the buses not connecting, having to walk miles, in the end, resulted in me getting this again. So. Only thing I wish is that I had taken a shower. I hadn't taken a shower since last Thursday when this all happened. And, you know, now that I have it again... I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna ruin it. I'm gonna enjoy it for a while. So I'm not really around anybody anyway. So I could go without taking a shower. That's why I want to do a new welcome on my channel because I've never done a work. Or maybe I have in the past. I don't remember, but I might have done it before where I had the new haircut when I just got my haircut. And I wanted to do welcome my, to my channel video. I haven't done where I do the calluses and bottom of my feet. I did walk six miles yesterday with a little fraction. I don't know why I can't remember to be consistent with this. It's one thing to not be consistent with all the vitamins I take. Between my six spirulina, or gay spirulina pills, or whatever they think they can be right there. Um, on top of all the, those, that's food, Berlina's food, it's a super food. On top of all the vitamins and everything, I can see why I'm not, I don't keep up with that, where I can get into right where I forget to do that, because it's like 20-something pills, a lot to have to swallow down, take liquid foods too. But this, this doesn't take long, this is like nothing, I should do this every day, and I, I forget to do it, I don't know, probably because it's so simple, I forget. Because it's so simple, I forget to do it. And my mom's clock right there. Remember, I, I approximately when she's coming home. I don't know exactly.
I want to dance and clean the kitchen, so I'm only doing this briefly. As I say every time, I love this little thing. I'm so glad I discovered it and bought it. My mom forgot her keys today. I told her next time she does that, she's going to be locked out and have to go to her neighbors, have to go to friends. Because she needs to remember her keys like she remembers to get dressed. Or to, you know what I mean? She needs to remember her keys. It's very important. I cannot be trapped here, especially with the warm weather. And if I don't see the keys, I happen to see them. They shed them over on my clothes. She can't do that. They need to stay in the glass jar, like the sign over there says, keep keys in glass jar. And she needs to, when she's leaving, she gets up hours before she's ever going anywhere, put them in your yellow case and keep them in there. Okay? I know she doesn't do it on purpose. I'm not mad. Next time, I told her, next time you do it, you're lucky I saw them. It's beautiful out. I, could, I don't want to be trapped in the house if I want to leave. You have to remember your keys. When I didn't live here for those five months when I was with Joe, if you didn't remember your keys, you'd be locked out and have to pay $100 for a locksmith, right? Yeah. Well, you can't rely on me. All right, but I was pounding on the door, and I put my earplugs in because you were singing at 7.30, a little before 7.30 in the morning, and woke me up. I, you forced me to put my earplugs in again, Mom, and then poor Omar, I don't hear him, and he goes to the bathroom in his thing. You know, if you love Omar, you won't sing in the morning. Please don't sing. And, sh and you just listen to the TV quietly. So you don't need to sing. Because I'm trained to hear her voice. I can sleep if the TV, even if the TV is too loud, I can sleep. It's her voice singing, talking, or whatever. I'm trained to hear that, and it wakes me up. See? And she's, I don't want her in that habit where she's going to start singing early in the morning. I'm not sleeping in the afternoon. 
on Sunday, she did it at 5.30, 5.20 in the morning, she was singing and woke me up. She can't do that. But anyway, I went back to bed with my earplugs, didn't hear her pounding on the door. You need, you're up for hours, you need to make sure you have your keys. Just like when I didn't live here, you had to make sure you had your keys, didn't you? Yeah, well, you, she has to make sure she has her keys. That's just the bottom line. I will never leave this door unlocked. You will be locked out if you do this again. Plus, if she doesn't have them, it's chance that I saw them. What if they were somewhere else and she didn't make sure she had them? She's not even supposed to leave. If she didn't have her keys, she shouldn't even have left. But she left because she doesn't... I mean, I could be sleeping for hours in earplugs and I couldn't hear her, so she wanted to leave. Her ride came. But she has to remember her keys. That's the bottom line. Next time she'll learn her lesson. Next time I will leave and she'll be locked out. It's not the end of the world. She could go stay with a neighbor until I get home. She can go stay with a friend. She needs to remember her keys. And that'll teach her a lesson, won't it? There's no reason that those keys were not in the glass case. And then you grab them when you're going out the door. Really, you need to, ahead of time, put your keys in your yellow case. Don't. What were they doing over on the couch? On top of my clean clothes. I could have easily not seen them. I'm not expecting them to be there. And then I would have left, and she would have been out of luck, wouldn't she? Yes, she would. Because guess what? When I'm out walking and I have my favorite tunes blasting in my ears, am I answering my phone? No, I'm not. I don't even listen to messages. I wouldn't even know if she left a message saying she left her keys here. Okay? You cannot rely on me to be here. I'm not obligated to stay here. I will not leave the door unlocked, even if I know you forgot your keys. You need to remember your keys. Period.